Hey again, welcome back. We're going to continue in our series, Jesus Revealed. And today we're going to see how he's revealed in the storm. You know, storms are a part of life all over the world, even in geography. The Asians face monsoons. The people in Europe during the winter face severe wind storms and further north, severe snowstorms. And where my family lives on the East Coast, they face the threat of hurricanes. But what we see is that if we are attentive, we will always discover Jesus in the middle of the storm. And you know the story where this is very clear in the Gospel of Matthew. But if you read chapter 8, starting from verse 21, you'll discover a very interesting set of circumstances. Verse 21 is actually the last in the series of people that came up to Jesus saying, yeah, we want to follow you. But when he challenged them about the price to pay to follow him, many of them turned him down. And in this case, the last guy says to him, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, follow me and leave the dead to bury the dead. The man unfortunately ended up not following Jesus. But this is the key. The very next verse says that when Jesus got into the boat, the disciples followed him. See, that's the difference between a believer and a disciple. Disciples will always follow, but deliberators and debaters will always make excuses. But here's what happened. These disciples are following Jesus and a storm arose on the sea. And you know the story well. Jesus was sleeping through it all and the disciples were fearing for their lives. Jesus stood up in the boat and commanded this, the wind and the waves to cease. And then he challenged them. He turned to them and he said, Why are you afraid, O ye of little faith? You know, sometimes Jesus is not looking for information. He's looking to see if we can examine our hearts and discover the root causes of our fears. And in this case, it was a lack of faith. So this is a great example. They continue across the lake and they end up seeing a deliverance of this man possessed by demons. And the demons go into the pigs and the pigs run down the hill and everybody is rejoicing, but they're also very intimidated by this Jesus who spoke with such authority. But from the outset, we see that Jesus was on a mission. His whole goal was to get to the other side in order to bring deliverance to this man. So in the whole account, if you read it thoroughly, you are going to see Jesus revealed in the storm in a very special way. Number one, in the way he faithfully confronts our lack of confidence, our lack of trust. You know, every spontaneous reaction that you have in the storm unveils some kind of condition of your soul that Jesus wants to address. This shouldn't be ignored. It shouldn't be neglected, but it should be treated with honesty before the presence of the Lord. Jesus will oftentimes help you see these things in the middle of the storm. Secondly, we see Jesus revealed in the way he deals with the victim mentality of his disciples. You know, even the psychologists of our day and age have identified three types of reactions. You're either going to respond in a storm as a victim, or as a savior, or as a persecutor. And now Jesus is confronting this never to condemn, but just to deliver us from unhealthy attitudes and habits and mentalities that we have cultivated, I would say sometimes even from childhood. So in the storm, allow Jesus to reveal himself as the one true savior. Number three, he reveals himself by showing compassion for the man who needed deliverance. You know, there's a difference between compassion and sympathy. Sympathy might give you a listening ear and a want a desire to give to give somebody a pat on the back, but only compassion releases the power of God. So let's be people of compassion the way Jesus was throughout the storm. His goal was to show compassion. 
And obviously, he revealed himself in the way he ex exercises his authority and in the way he pursued his mission to ensure the deliverance of that man. Let me encourage you to make your goal in the storm to see Jesus, not to fret, not to yield to fear or victim mentality or doubt and unbelief. Make sure you understand that Jesus is on a mission and he's going to take you through the storm to reveal himself to others. And on that note, I'll see you next week.